Hello people, welcome to another episode of Plug Rock Podcast, episode number 47. Um, yeah. You mightn't be able to notice. Um, it's only been, less than it, two days since the last Plug Rock Podcast episode. And you are correct in saying that. Because it has been two days since the last Clock Road Podcast episode. Wow. What on earth this about? If you were listening to the last episode, you might be able to tell. Also, this podcast episode actually has a lot of views. Um, I mean, if we go and hear Clock Road Podcast, what, what is the most viewed podcast episode? It doesn't let me sort my views, that's stupid. I, I want to know... Actually, if I go into analytics, it probably will say... Just lifetime. And what is the most? Okay. 41 is the most viewed. How many has 40 views? Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm getting a bit distracted, but uh, well, so, um, yeah, wow, 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 still this podcast performs absolutely terribly, unfortunately, okay, so, Let's just sort of talk about what's been going on. So, um, yeah, so, I've actually said why, um, podcast right here, right now, doing what I mean. So, reason why these, this episode is now and not in the future, it's actually because, um, it today is the one year anniversary of episode number two, which is sort of the first proper episode of the podcast. So yeah, that's why we we'll say inflates the episode number two sort of more accurately reflect that, you know, because it's only been um yeah, so I've only I've not, you know, recently I've been not doing as many episodes, which is why this is happening. Why I'm sort of starting to play, cap- why I want to sort of play capture, make it seem like I've been doing episodes every single week. Maybe I'll do more of these um, catch up episodes in the future. But, anyways. Enough of that boring, boring stuff. Probably quite boring to you. Let's get on to some real stuff, I guess. Real stuff. So, um, what's been going on in the last couple of days? Oh, for good sake, I should have done this beforehand just to make my life easier. But... Yeah, presumably I said this in the last episode, if not I'm an idiot, but I've ordered a couple of things because I got paid, yeah surely I've, I, I think I said that, um, yes yeah, so, I've had, um, ordered some stuff, so I ordered a Nano Wolf think pad, um, so I'm trying to put charge in my laptop. There you go. And then no one think pad T or for T P. Now you might be asking why that laptop. The answer is it's one of the last laptop um, Lenovo think pad laptops with a socketed CPU. I'm going to probably suffer pain just by looking at this, but. Because I did sort of spend quite a bit of money on it 
a bit too much, let's be real. But to be fair, there was an auction for the the T forty forty P but with um I think I think it had like the same CPU. I don't I can't remember if it had um I could have, I could have a look, but yeah, yeah, that, there's, no, nah, that's ridiculous, that's an i3, so definitely got way better value than that, um, oh, this one's about now, but it, it's an i5, okay, I don't think mine was the 4300 you though, um, this is, 90 quid no i paid less okay it seems like i didn't get too bad value um one of these auctions here um ddr4 ram no it doesn't use ddr4 ram stop being ridiculous all this is just not a two four pick uh, yeah, that's not DDR4 RAM, you idiot. It's got 4 gigs though. And also, yeah, I think mine's got a. Oh, wait, no, it's an i3. I was going to say, no, yeah, I think mine's got that CPU, but no, it's an i3. I've definitely got an i7, uh, i5. If I sorted it by price, that would have, um, that would help. But actually, from what's currently available, it doesn't even seem like I spent that much more. But I know I did because I saw a um, T forty three P um, that I had that finished like a day after I bought mine. That went for like three quid and it's like identical specs. Um, it had an i5, I remember that. Um, I don't know about the storage or the screen. Didn't mean to do that, sorry. But yeah, I believe mine comes with a one terabyte hard drive. I'm going to have a look. Um, eBay. Come on, but I think mine's uh, not even it's a two point six gigahertz i five but I oh, it barely says it here. Oh, I've got a i five forty three m. Yeah, I don't have the u the forty three to choose. So the m would be probably better. I think right. Because U stands for like underclocked, basically, pretty much. Um, yeah, I think it's got four gigs of RAM. All right, and it's yeah, it appears to have one terabyte hard drive. For those, well, seems to be weirdly partitioned, so like the Windows takes up as like its own partition. That's um, 50 gigs and then the rest is a separate partition. Don't ask because I genuinely don't know what on earth that means. But yeah, I'm excited. And then also I have no clue what's going on with Tars, but it looks like they've like installed Start or Back or whatever it's called. Start. Is it Start Back still? I can't remember. Um, because the taskbar um, buttons um, look like um, oof, look like the Windows 8 ones, but it's like clearly Windows 10. So I think that's what it is, because I know you could do that, well, at least back in 2019, um, that's the year. When I last used it. Anyways. I'm here to talk about things. 
And I, yeah, I should, as I said earlier, I should come, pre come prepared. So, and I didn't, so this is all my fault. I'll be a sack of your time being occupied by the fact that I have some stickers here right now. Right here, right now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I've got some stickers. Um, check that over there. I've got some stickers that have arrived today. And this is actually my first of the three things that I ordered on the internet to arrive. Despite me ordering it either on Monday or the later, the early hours of the Tuesday. So, either way, this was over a week ago at this point. But it arrives now, I can't complain because, oh my god. So, I've got some stickers. Here is the first one. I use Arch, by the way. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Senior and no Arch. This is well and truly amazing. I'm sorry. Oh, I love this. Okay. What what would be next? You might be asking. Um. Celeste strawberry and a shopping trolley full of flowers. Yes, that is the quality of things. Actually, I like this because this is quite appropriately bundled together with these stickers. So, I've got this. So, that is um, N from Murder Drones, and that's like all of the main characters of Has Been Hotel. <laughs> After that, I've got Lenovo and an iMac G3 tray loading. I wish it was a slot loading because I don't have any tray loaders, but oh well. Okay. Next, I have got this Android Honeycomb logo, which looks really cool, and the 21 Pilots Plant C Era logo. Okay. Next, I'll have the these stickers Firefox. And why is in the light guy? Okay. After that, I've got four taxis, two of them smaller, and the power PC logo. Okay. Then after that, I have got the so Freddy vs. logo. Thing where it's like a weird angle it's a drawing and fox powered and fox tails honestly amazing and finally we've got the brand new eyes um butterfly and a little drawing of like the original iPod classic yeah that's um the whole collection and I think it's amazing <laughs> I love the Nyart and the senior being on the same pages I feel like they have tried to match them up actually I guess the one pilots and the 
friendly eyes aren't matched up. But oh well. Same with the um that's probably the um uh, the two apple things. Uh, and pretty we'll put Pabby Sim Ryzen together. Okay then never mind, it's not necessarily well matched up. But it is definitely a nice bundle of stickers. You might be asking how much did this cost? You know um, remember roughly how much it is, but I don't know if that's like exactly how much. So the rough bit was um twenty six quid for nineteen stickers. Um let me just check the email, it was a week ago, so God, I get so many emails now. It's ridiculous. Um Okay, it's actually twenty seven quid, it was twenty seven forty nine. Well, the actual stickers was twenty three sixty five and then there's three eighty four um for shipping which results in twenty seven forty nine. Um yeah, that's the price. So yeah. It wasn't necessarily cheap cheap but I mean to be fair for most of it was just like one quid a sticker. Which isn't you know, too bad but it adds up when you have literally buy, you know, nineteen stickers just saying. But hey, that's finally arrived. I've also bought RAM for the ThinkPad. I bought like a 4 gig stick, only a 4 gig stick because I literally didn't have enough money for an 8 gig stick. Um, so that's literally why, but yeah, I'll eventually get up to the full 16. But, um, so. Yeah, there will eventually be that in the future, but yeah. I'm quite excited for my, well, I'm very excited for my ThinkPad once it arrives. Good news when? It's not, not even that far away. It's just, I don't know why. The, been no activity relating to it since Sunday, so two days ago. But I mean, there's a three day gap there, so tomorrow, soon I'd imagine something would happen then. Hopefully, it arrives tomorrow. But to be fair, it has got an ETA of Thursday, not Wednesday. So there's that. Um, what else? Oh, good. What else do I have things to talk about? Sort of more. That there we go. Um. Mm. Um, <laughs> so I've just seen something so ridiculous. I've just saw something. Think, oh yeah, Discord is still a good platform to be, despite people continually complaining. It has all the features I want in a chat and voice platform, and does them quite well. You sure about the quite well bit? Hmm. No, it isn't. You have to be genuinely stupid to believe that. Hmm. 
Der, äh Um, I'm sorry, I'm reading this and I'm so confused. Some person on um, the broken Twitter website says, No, Apple would simply disable your camera when you delete the photos that they have ways to comply. The UP wouldn't fathom. The EU could force users. To delete the photo set, this will require a massive rewriting of OS. Um, Um, yeah, I don't really know what it is to mm. I don't really know what it is to say um. Hmm yeah, so I've just gone completely blank. I think I just got went a bit distracted there. Um, yeah. So, of course, I'll do a video about the ThinkPad once it arrives. Um, I'll stick all these stickers on there. It's like 9 billion of them. As I showed earlier. Um, yeah. I'm honestly really bored. I want to just play Minecraft on one of my PowerPC Mac. Hopefully you can understand that, it makes sense, you know, why not play Minecraft on a PC Max, it's way more interesting than playing it on this boring laptop that I want to get rid of so badly, um, because yeah, by the way, I don't know if I actually did this, but um, though I do have an incentive to just outright, st outright stop using the ThinkPad, um, uh, not ThinkPad, using this laptop that I'm using to record this. Um, the simple reason is it's actually really horrible to use. I, um, so, shall I name a bunch of problems with this laptop? Number one, the, I'd say the battery life is atrocious, but it's actually nowhere near as bad as the laptop I was using well I say nowhere near as bad as the laptop I was using before this it still isn't much better let's be real um so problems so the battery life probably lasts maybe like maybe at most two hours but more like an hour um so problems battery life the D key does not work on the laptop Neither does the enter key, or the backspace key, or the at symbol key next to the enter key. Um, the trackpad doesn't click anymore. There was a metal bit that fell out and I've completely lost it because I'm an idiot. I, can't even, I was struggling to get in and I just sort of left it for later and forgot about it. So I now have to use a external mouse. Um, to really use it I can like sometimes click but like if you do the tap to click but the problem is that only seems to work with um what is it the you know the primary click which is left click I can never remember which one's the primary click you never really remember these things um after that um also, when I shut the laptop down and reopen it, the trackpad will just outright stop working. Like, I can't even move my mouse cursor. Um, other problems. Um, 
home about the problems. I've got complete blank of problems with this laptop. Um, seriously, why have I got blank on problems with this laptop? Um, I mean, it sort of stopped working and it started working again. I made a video about that. Um, the laptop charger has been a bit dodgy. Um, also, this does, this laptop doesn't have an Ethernet port, which is really, really annoying. Also, it doesn't, doesn't have a disk drive that I sort of expected. It's a laptop from like 2020 or 2021. It's one of those two years. Um, what else? Um, what, what? Oh, yeah, the seven keys also balked um, as well. For wondering how I sort of work around this, I usually have D in a clipboard. I change my keyboard there out to the US one so I can get the at symbol pro using two instead of the you other know, key next to the enter. Um, for seven, I use the numpad because thankfully it's a numpad. Same with enter. Um, for backspace, I have to just select and then press delete. Um, that's how I do backspaces. It's I'm really used. My brain's sort of very used to it. I mean, the D bit is genuinely annoying. The seven's also slightly annoying because usually I need to press num num lock to use seven. Otherwise, it will be the home key. It seems that's what's written on a keyboard. So therefore, it must be correct. Um, so on. That's why I don't like this laptop. Also, it's falling apart, like the base is falling off, and um, I can't even, 90% of the time, I can't get it back in, like clip back in, and then eventually unclip itself. Um, I mean, the simple reason, that's sort of partially my fault, because I genuinely don't know what happened to, like, all of the screws, because it's screwless at the bottom now, it's missing all the screws. Um, yeah, same with the hinge. I lost the most of the screws for the hinge. However, each hinge has a screw each. You know, it's supposed to be like three screws a hinge. Um, also, yeah, when you move the hinge, it does mean the bottom can come off because, you know, the hinge is quite loose because it's been held on by only one screw, so it will sort of poke out, which, yeah, isn't good either. I could just maybe buy screws online or something and fix this up, but at the end of the day, it'd have the keyboard issues, the trackpad issue until I can find it. It might be down there. Or it could be just laying somewhere on my bed. You don't know about these things. Yeah, I'm, I'm so bad at these things, let's be real, sometimes. I should not be allowed to get away with all of this stuff um but yeah um um yeah But yeah, um, don't have much else to say. No, can't think of anything else to say. Um, no, so that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this. So we'll get into the half an hour mark at this point. I really don't want to say, so yeah. Unfortunately, this video is sort of um, not being released early access to Patreons just partially because I kind of forgot to record it last night. And I mean, I'm already recording this way too late tonight. Oh, yeah, also, my clock on this laptop hasn't actually adjusted to 
they don't say things so it's actually an hour ahead uh, in BST form I, I would have thought I chose um, Greenwich as the time zone and not UTC but I guess I didn't I could fix that I've just been lazy wouldn't kind of be bothered to manually fix it I don't know it's shrink my body's shrinking as you can see and I actually pulled my if I have my thing and yeah supposedly I'm getting the full 30 FPS I really doubt that but who knows obviously you might be able to notice yeah I'm not on the iMac I just can't be bothered and it's probably my dad's probably watching his crapping on the TV in that room anyway so it's not like I can record until you know it goes to bed and by that point it'll be probably past midnight and no yeah well say past midnight probably like 11 you know, half 11 but yeah point still stands but at least this is actually happening i'll probably do another episode of this on friday so you're getting a lot of episodes within the span of a week which is ridiculous but um i guess it's you know well it's not really it's, just this that's technically a bonus episode and technically the last episode was two days late as the podcast supposed to be released on fridays but it hasn't been it was released on sunday um so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this and um goodbye